All right, everybody, in this one, we're going to be looking at how to adjust your shipping labels in eBay so you can print on whatever paper you choose. They've made some updates, so this is going to be a little bit different. So we have an order here. We're going to go in to purchase another label. This one's actually shipped, so, and already you can see mine looks different than yours. So what I'm going to do is switch back to basic, and then it'll look like yours. So if you're having problems, this is what you're going to see. It's going to be your product, the details, and then the purchase shipping label. But in order to fix the label, go up to the top right, switch to advanced shipping. And now we have the old settings like you just saw. You have the options down at the bottom for the shipping class options. But over here on the right, print format. That's what we care about today. So we're going to change that. Mine is already PDF because higher quality is from PDF. If you're printing on a phone, you might want to do PNG. There are certain other situations where you you need to make some adjustments that PDF doesn't allow you to do. And if you are doing this process on a mobile device, it will look a little different. The options are there, but it's a little tricky. I'll be making a follow-up video for that. And you can print it to eight and a half seven by two or what most people care about the four by six so i'm not going to make any changes and you can obviously the preview here i do want to touch on a couple of the options that are new i'm going to go back switch to basic and for these i have qr code available and i'm going to jump over to another video clip for that What the QR code allows you to do is just take the print the QR code out or have it on your phone, go to the post office, they'll scan it and generate a label for you. Similar to what you do with like Amazon returns and stamps.com or USPS click and ship, I'm sorry, now offers this as well. So you don't have to print the label at home if you don't have the resources to do so. All right, so that wraps up this video. If you have any questions, I missed something, I grazed over, went too fast, please let me know and I'll answer or update the video. As always, thanks for the likes, comments, and subscribes, and I'll catch you in the next one.